Mr. Howard, you know what I want? Can you play the new uh, Connie Francis Christmas song? You want to hear it again? Yeah, my mother didn't hear it. She loves Connie Francis. Oh. Yeah. Well, is she listening now? Yeah. Where well, is she? Is she there? there? Yeah, she's in the other room making cookies. She doesn't believe I'm on the phone. It's okay. Here, I'll play it for her, but then I want her reaction to it. You want her reaction to it? Yeah. You want to talk to her? Yeah, sure. Hold on. Howard Stern. Who is this? Hi, how are you, darling? This is Howard Stern? Yeah. What did my son say? That I like Connie Francis? Yeah, do you like Connie Francis? Oh, God, no. She's not a singer. She's not an entertainer. <laughs> oh, you don't like her? No, not at all. Oh, I thought you wanted to hear the Christmas song. What Christmas song is that? It's the Connie Francis Christmas song? Oh, well, maybe I'd like to hear that. Oh, all right. Hold on. We can play it for you. Yeah, okay. Do you want... Here we go. I know what you got to do. You got to turn up your radio. Okay. And I'll, and I'll have to put you on hold. Howard. Yeah. Listen, I was on David Letterman, too. Why do they start one topic and then go to another topic? I'll never understand that. That's amazing, isn't it? It's like, why don't you stick with the... You, you wanted me to do the Connie Francis all right, routine. All right, I'll wait, I'll wait. All right, hold on. The whole time he's got the radio blaring in the background. I know, so he can hear himself. I'm the creature from all the spiders. I got a mean and ugly face. I'm the creature. How'd you like that? Ah, it sounds great. My mother's enjoying it. She's jumping up and down. Oh, I <laughs> I'm not interested in talking to you. I'm interested in talking to your mother. You know, I know your mother. You do. She's the only woman I know to give mouth to lap resuscitation. <laughs> Howard, this is Ralph Sorella. How you doing? How are you, man? Listen, I was I really I was on David Letterman. Hey, wait a second. Uh, I really want to speak to your mother. I know her. You know her pantyhose has a pet door. <laughs> Howard, give it to her, because she says all the time how much she hates you. Uh, hey, she's been on her knees more than Billy Graham. Oh. I know her. Very religious. Very religious. Oh, uh, yeah. Do you want to talk to her again? Sure I do, man. All right, hold on. Uh, is, is, um, this is embarrassing. <laughs> How'd you like that Connie Francis song? I, that was really crazy. I didn't know that. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't listen to you all the time, but my son, you're his hero. Yeah, well, hey, hey listen, let me ask you a question. I, I think I know you. No. Were you in the hospital for four months when a truck driver mistook you for the Holland Tunnel? Oh! This is why you're so likable. <laughs> you're not the same woman who's been under more sheets than the KKK. <laughs> oh, brother. Listen, can I ask you a question? Sure. No, oh, can I ask you a question? Wait, I'm not sure if I know you or not. Aren't you the same woman who had to clap so often the doctors had to treat you for applause? <laughs> oh, boy. You know, what is Hey, wait a second. I'm not saying you're easy, but aren't you listed in the yellow pages as a public utility? Oh! I'm just, I'm just being a fool for you. No, listen. Doesn't Santa come to your house to get his cookies? <laughs> what? Do I have anything nice to say about anybody? Sure I do. You're a lovely woman. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure you think that. Okay, listen. Um, I'm going to hang up now. I, I got had, rid of her. I thought she had something to say. Let me speak to your mother. I don't want to speak to you, you dopey kid. I'm not a dopey kid, man. Get your mother back on. <laughs> I think I know her. Isn't she... You don't... You like her? Yeah, you know, I think I remember. It... I think your mother... I'm not saying your mother smells, but doesn't she wear order eaters in her pantyhose? No. <laughs> no, no, that's not her. Isn't it your mother whose first words as a baby were sure, sailor? <laughs> No, no, not her. Are you sure? You sure about that? No, I said, no, no, it's not. I'm sure, I'm positive. Oh, yeah. How about your mother? I'm pretty sure your mother spent more time under men than bar stool. Oh. <laughs> well, your mom's like train taxis. She's laid across the country. Oh, here we go. All right, I'm not going to start with you. Hey, uh... <laughs> 
She said you're disgusting. And not only that. <laughs> and not only that, what? I, don't, I can't hear her. She said you're a hell of a thing for my son to be liking. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Howard, what? Oh, I know your mother. Doesn't she have a coin operated zipper on her jeans? <laughs> I'm not sure. I, I really wouldn't know. Would you? I'm not saying your mother's loose, but she's been boarded more times than Amtrak. Oh, man, like, what do you got to do? Like, read all these? You, there's so much silence in between. No, I'm thinking of stuff. Say these every week. Come on, you got to get some new ones. You got hey, all... I know your mother. Don't you have any good writers? She's had more Marines land on her bed than on Iwo Jima. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't use that last week. Yeah, you did. All right, you didn't use that one last week. Doesn't your mother wear her mattress on her back and yell curb service? Oh, <laughs> there's a new one. All right, Howard, don't you have anything else besides mother jokes? <laughs> That's your mother. What, you want me to talk about you? Yeah, come on. Give it a shot. <laughs> All right, you, you got to find one, right? Go through your notes or whatever here. <laughs> Make sure your mother doesn't sniff her armpits. <laughs> I think that means she's trying to commit suicide. <laughs> that didn't work. No. 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 Give me a chance. God. <laughs> Doesn't your father wear knee pads and yell curb service? <laughs> Where to <the> switch <laughs> I'm sure if you had lived, you would have been a very sick man, sir. If you had a brain, you'd, uh, if you had half a brain, you'd be a half wit. Well, I can't hear you too good. Yeah. I'm done with you. Yeah. All right, anyway, what? anything else you want to say? Yeah, seriously, I was on David Letterman. I was on longer than you, and I was just asking an audience question. Okay, thank you. And they told me to get off. So you're going to do that thing soon with the song parody, right? What song parody? Oh, the we'll contact. Her. Yeah. We'll make sure not to pick you. <laughs> How many dates are you going to be at Club Benet? Four. Four? I'm going to be there for one weekend. What, so you're going to two shows a night? Ooh, That's right. he's a genius. All right, nice talking to you, Howard. Oh, yeah, what's three divided by nine? <laughs> Twenty. Good. It's a math major. 551, we'll come right back.